Hang on, I haven't finished the video yet. Greetings from sunny North Wales. Items delivered. Bolt set. Bell housing to engine block. Associated spring washers. And more spring washers. A reversing light switch. I hope this one fits. Um, I'll go out to the garage and take the old one out and see whether that thread aligns okay. Uh, more bolts or nuts bolts to hold the uh, I think it will be to hold this in actually which is an engine mount so again I'll go out to the garage and see what's there um, and see whether I can utilize that uh, clutch slave actuator rod and nylon uh, keep there there's already one on um, on the gearbox, so I'll see what the orientation is like. And also, um, a slave. Yeah, looking okay, isn't it? And here we are again, job one. Get that flipped over and check the uh, existence or not of the gearbox mount. Now that looks very much like that. I'm not sure about this <laughs> torque arm. Um, and I'll see whether I can get this all separated. Let's see whether that actually uh, lines up with the uh, holes in the gearbox, which I believe are these two. Um, goodness only knows what these bungy things are here. So I'll get them out anyway and see about a fitment of beer. There's an awful lot of uh, cacken housing in that, but it's out. But it's made a mess of my lovely bench. Well, that's that one out. Uh, quite clean. With the use of an impact. <laughs> now it's in the vice and see if I can undo this lot. That's that one off. And it does look like the gearbox mount I've got is the same as this. So I'll clean up these nuts and uh, see if I can get them undone. Cleaned up, I'll give them a bit of a liquid persuasion and uh, see if I can get them undone. They're out. Bit of a thread clean up before they go back in. And this is presumably the mountain assembly. If I can get it out, I'll have to put my camera down. Hang on. That's it apart. That looks an awful lot similar. Similar to that one. So that is correct. That is the part that obviously bolts onto. Uh, the gearbox at the back, I'll just check uh, if it's that one, Hang on, that one, or well, that one, I don't know yet, so I'll do a little trial. It's the new uh, gearbox mount in, uh, bolts cleaned up, and tight as a tight thing. I think I have an issue with this actuator here. Um, for one, it's bent. And I reckon that goes all the way through and then picks up here on this uh, thread um, because that has to be the orientation where this one goes it's right underneath so it actually sits here so I'm going to uh, have a look at getting another one of them before I attempt to straighten it probably break it. And on the positive side I found me a speedo driver outlet so yeah so between this <laughs> gearbox mount bracket and that uh, it hasn't been quite as successful as I would um, I would have hoped so I'm gonna give that some thought. That should be reverse. It's reverse and out. So, at least the reverse and light switch works. A little bit of progress uh, today, not as much as I'd like. Um, 
but I know a way forward and I'm going to make some inquiries in way of the bracket that holds the rubber um, onto the back of the gearbox uh, I'll look into getting a speedo drive now I know where it goes and that little um, ball actuator that actuates the gearbox so um, I'll look into doing that all depending on weather tomorrow if it doesn't really rain hard because all the salt on the road's gone I'll take the blue car out um, yeah so uh, tatty bye from sunny north wales